Do you like that? Or would you prefer to be, would you prefer to be on my shoulder? We'll do a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. What do you think? Hi guys, how's it going? It's me, Josh Halter, owner and founder of The Bio Dude. So I'm just chilling with this little lady today. She's a, a, a female beardy that we've had for sale at our point of sale now for a little over a month and a half and she still hasn't left yet, which is really surprising given her amazing calm demeanor. She's definitely got a little chunky since she's been here. Anyway, I'm sure you guys remember this. I put together this Autumn Nature Rimless Habitat. It's been going about eight months now. And I'm sure you guys remember when I set it up, I used basically tissue cultures, small cuttings of plants. And uh, since then, we've just been letting it thrive. We hand mist this enclosure about once a day, but for the most part, we've just been letting it go. So let's get started on the update. So for one thing, I'm sure you guys remember the different Margravias. So you can see the first Margravia down here is doing exceptionally well. Uh, it's put on at least 18 different leaves since it's been in here. And of course, the, the very notable is this beautiful Pilea down here that is just slowly taking over. And it started with a cutting that's about this long, which is just absolutely fantastic. We have a lot of other types of plants as well as the other mosses that are going and I'm just it's sensory overload right now. I love this habitat. So first, you guys remember some of the Texas native mosses that I put in here? Look at how well it's doing. Look at that. That is awesome. And then it slowly opens up here with this plant that grew out of the moss. I, I honestly, I can't even tell you what plant this is. I have no idea, but it, it is fruiting with a flower. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. And then to top it off, you see the spiky moss, which is the Selaginella. It is compounding in with the Texas moss and the baby's tears, and it is doing absolutely amazing. The Selaginella has put on a substantial amount of size. It's even starting to slowly but surely creep up here onto the ghost wood, which is great to see because you can see the bottom layer of moisture here with how well it's doing. And then the further down we go, we see the tissue cultures that we put in here that have just taken over. We have weeping moss, Taiwan moss, and flame moss, all getting established within here, along as with this peperomia. Now this is the slowest growing plant I think I've ever freaking had in here, or had in this enclosure. It's put on about eight leaves since I've had it, which, which is pretty substantial, I guess, but compared to some of the other plants, it's pretty slow. But you can just see here how much the water has, or how much the moss has grown from point A all the way growing up here to point B. And you can see some of the darker moss right in there that is just really thriving. We do have some Anubias in here as well. Now, back here, we can also come around and we see this bad boy right here. This has stayed close to about the same size, but the leaves have just gotten bigger. I love this plant and I love the moss. I look at this flame moss right here and it's working its way all the way down. So if you guys remember how this was originally set up, there was a piece of pumice here, a piece of pumice here, and a piece of pumice here in the front. And essentially the moss has completely covered the pumice 100%, which is exactly what I wanted. We have the baby's tears again from this side with the peperomia on this side. So we have the peperomia it's sort of growing over this way and this is the same plant that's over here in the front. And then we had this thing pop up, which also came from one of the mosses, which is just crazy because I have no idea what it is, what, no idea where it came from. And then we also have some moss that's sporated back here on top of the bromeliads, which is just awesome. So let me see if I can get this bad boy moved over here because it is anchored in. But you can look into the crevices of the rocks. I mean, look at that. That is a 100% I did this on my own spread around. And that's because the atomizer down here is doing such a good job at spreading and maintaining that humidity, creating those different humidity microclimates, obviously the lower as we go. Now, the only thing I wish this tank would have done a little bit better on is my bromeliads. My bromeliad here on my left, it didn't do so good. We actually just had to trim this back, which is a little disappointing, but I might be able to save it. 
This one, on the other hand, has a very extensive root system that is, as you can see, clearly attached to the rock. But overall, just looking at this habitat, I think my plan, what I'm going to do is wait for this Margravia to get a little bit more established. And I might either move it or I might just see how it does. And then I'm going to raise the water level um, a solid, a solid couple inches to put some shrimp in here. Now, if you look at this Margravia right here, this actually decided to grow downwards. It's right by this jewel orchid right here. So you can see it right here. It's grown just as much as this Stincinii down here but it's growing down this way. So it is just, everything is doing so well and it's so refreshing to see. And you can see the spiky moss here just coming up out of the top. I mean, just look at that. That is absolutely awesome. I love it. Now we are, now again, loadout. We're using an Altum Nature System atomizer with a built-in um, air, uh, air bubbler pump, which is built into my PVC frame that I made. We have a rimless Altum Nature with a Twin Star 600E light. And then, of course, we have our female beardy overlooking everything to make sure that everything is acceptable. Not for you. you. You can't go in here. But you know what I would love to put in here, guys? Some Red F Newts. That would be an amazing creature to have in here. I just They would totally get out. But, you know, if you guys have any ideas besides some cherry head shrimp, drop a line. I wanted you guys just to get an update on how this has been going. You can see the progress. You can see just how amazing a habitat like this can be, even though if it doesn't have animals living in it. You guys know me. My name's Josh Halter. I'm the owner and founder of The Bio Dude. You can come see me. You can come see this gorgeous baby for sale and come check out this beautiful nature scape here at the Bio Dude Houston, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 and Saturday, 10 to 5. I really appreciate everybody's support. Hit that like and subscribe button. The dude abides.